Hello everyone, my name is Mandy Lynn. I'm the author of the young adult novel Essence and historical fantasy novel I Am Mercy and today we're going to be talking about how to arrange a blog tour. By the end of this video you'll know why your book needs a blog tour, what type of things you should plan for in the blog tour, and how to put together a blog tour. So a few weeks ago I did a video on how to host a book launch. Today we're doing something a little more different, this time we're doing an online blog tour. So before I jump into how to plan a blog tour I want to explain a a little bit what a blog tour is. So a blog tour is basically usually a week or so after your book launches online and it's bloggers taking turns every day talking about your book or talking about you and it's just a big promotion for your book. Instead of traveling to different bookstores like you would for a book tour, you're traveling to different blogs. Each day you're talking about something different and maybe there's a giveaway or two involved but I'll get more into that later. All you have to know is that there's a whole bunch of different bloggers talking about your book and it's great promotion and it should boost sales. So what is covered in each blog? So like I said, each blogger is going to be talking about something different. The reason for this is because you as the author are going to be promoting every single blog post. So you don't want any of the blog posts to be the same. This way your followers can follow from day one to day seven because usually they're about five to seven days, they're about a week long. There's a few different things you can do on your blog tour. For example, you could have a blogger review your book. This means you have to make sure that they have an advanced reader copy and then they read it and they have the review ready for the day they're going to be posting their blog. You can also do a giveaway, you know, make it so that the people reading the blog have to comment on the blog, follow the blog, or maybe follow you on social media. You can do an author interview, work with the blogger to create an interview, you know, they ask the questions, you answer them. Or you can do a guest post. This is easiest on the blogger because they leave everything up to you. They are basically in charge of posting it and you're in charge of writing it. You can write about how you started writing or what made you want to write your novel in the first place. These are just a few ideas but you can always work with the blogger to kind of brainstorm ideas and see what works best for them. So next thing you need to know is how to find bloggers. So you have to be ready to email a lot of people because you're going to email a lot of people and you're not going to get a whole lot of responses. You have to be ready for rejection. When you start emailing people, keep track of who you email, when you email them, and feel free to follow up. If a lot of people end up responding to you, that's great. The more people on your blog tour, the better. But ideally, you would like to at least have five, so you have like a week's worth, and that means that you'd only be doing uh, Monday through Friday. To find bloggers, go on social media, check out Twitter, see who's blogging about books, check out YouTube, see who's talking about books, and just work with other fellow authors. Everyone likes to help each other out. So now you need to know what to give your bloggers. So before you even start emailing people, you need to have a list of things ready to give to them so they can just jump right on into it and start getting ready. They'll need an author photo, your cover of your novel, an advanced reader copy of your novel so they can read it beforehand. They'll need a short description of the book and a short author bio so they can kind of tell their followers who you are. And then they'll also need a list of links of where you are on social media. These are all things I prepared when I launched my first book. I did have a blog tour for Essence and it was wonderful. So I basically had all these things compiled and I gave it to my bloggers so they were ready and they could get prepped and you know they didn't have to ask me a lot of questions. They already had those questions that they were going to ask answered. When should you start planning your blog tour? The correct answer is as soon as possible. You want to give yourself a few months in advance because it's going to take a while to get a whole bunch of bloggers you know on on board and organized. You also want to keep in mind that if you get bloggers like a month or two in advance of the actual blog tour, you have to kind of keep reminding them about it because you don't want them to forget. So just keep in contact with people. You know, have an email list specifically for your bloggers to kind of update them on the process of your book publishing and that sort of thing. Last but not least comes promoting the blog tour. So this is when you have everything ready, you have your bloggers lined up, they've got their posts ready, 
they're ready to just talk about your book. And now you want to tell everyone about it. So you want to post about it everywhere on social media. Feel free to remind people like once a week or so, and maybe even once a day as the blog tour is coming up. And especially when the blog tour is going on, you definitely want to promote each individual blog every day. What I did when Essence had the blog tour is that I posted a list of each day and where to go each day. So people knew to go, you're like, on Monday, I have to go to this blog to see the post. On Tuesday, I have to go to this blog. What I didn't have at the time was Canva. Canva is a great website that helps you do easy graphic design. With Canva, you can easily just put, you know, this awesome looking graphic online and share and it says like where to go everywhere. So I didn't have this when Essence launched, but if I did, this is what it would look like. So it would have the blog tour title, it would have the cover of the book, and then all the days and where to go each day. That way my followers knew, you know, on Monday, go here, on Tuesday, go here. Sharing images on social media always gets more interaction from people than just sharing a post, so always try to have an image to accompany your post. There's a lot more to promoting a blog tour on social media than this, but this is just kind of the quick gist of it. If you want more videos on how to do like social media marketing, let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget, January has just started, and if you want to conquer amazing writing goals, I created a 2018 writing calendar that you can download for free on my website. The calendar helps you write 20,000 words a month to keep the writer out of a slump. So if you want to download that calendar, all you have to do is subscribe to my blog. The links are down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's video. If you have a book coming out soon that you are doing a book launch or blog tour for, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear about it. Otherwise, that's it for today's video. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.